Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoyed these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a most unconventional early 1990s Breitling. This, the Breitling Windrider Astromat, a perpetual calendar chronograph that needs to be reset only once every four years during the leap year. The timepiece, an almost lugless 40 millimeters in stainless steel on my wrist, incredibly easy to wear. Even on a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference, this 40 millimeter case at 42 millimeters lug to lug is gonna wear with security and a handsome proportion. If you like Breitling, but you don't like big, this is the watch for you. The bracelet is a five link Breitling pilot style, and the case is thinner than you might think. From the sheer side, you'd imagine 14, 15 millimeters thick. Nope, it's more like 12.6. So we're close to Rolex Daytona territory. A Daytona is 12.2. We're talking fractions of a millimeter. And easy easy watch to wear on a small wrist. This is a perfect unisex option or a Breitling for someone who loves the history of the brand, but not the bigger is better mantra of recent years. The five link pilot style bracelet is a classic. It's aged well because it was built right from the beginning. Big gaps to vent the wrist on a hot day and substantial construction using screws for removable links. It also nicely avoids pinching skin or pulling hair. Deployant clasp, single fold, multiple anchoring points internally. So with your strap tool, you can change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside of the clasp. So you have a little bit of fine tuning that doesn't involve removing links or adding links. Clamshell closure, you can see the old style Breitling winged logo. Jumping back to the case, it's simple but strong. Almost a 70s style lugless design. Its principal defining traits are the stub lugs, which are incredibly short, and the revetments in the case side that allow those stub lugs to be drilled almost flush with the side of the case. The drill point is actually about 40 millimeters side to side, so though a 42, it wears even less. And because of the revetment or the recess in the flank of the case, you can pull the bracelet straight down around a smaller wrist. The horizontals are defined by the junction between the bezel or I should say the, the mid case and the bezel. The bezel is a bi-directional rotating 12 hour aviators bezel. And the mid case is defined by a step just below the point of the pusher adjusters that correct the 1461 calendar. It is a modular complication, both the calendar and the chronograph. And you can see that illustrated by the disparity between the pushers, the chronograph pushers, and the crown itself. But a wonderful watch with tremendous value. It gives you a moon phase, it gives you a perpetual calendar, and it gives you a chronograph with three registers and a very complete calendar display. You get a full chronograph and a full perpetual calendar display with a semi-hidden moon phase at three o'clock. It does sort of blend into the dial, but you realize that there's a handsome cruciform symmetry about this dial because the moon phase balances out the chronograph minutes and the month display at nine. You have constant seconds and the date at 12, and then you have the day and the hours of the chronograph at six with that 29 and a half day moon phase right at three, so it's perfectly balanced. This is a timepiece that dates back to the tritium era. There will be a loom shot at the end of the video. The dial base is matte black for low glare, and all of the indices are applique, so this is an upscale dial by the standards of early 1990s Breitling. Screw down crown, 50 meters water resistant. This was the earliest iteration of Breitling's 1461 calendar that need be adjusted only 1,000 461 days interval. It is 50 meters water resistant. With the screw down crown, you can consider that swimmable. Automatic winding based on an ETA 2892A2. It's a high grade movement with a 42 hour automatic winding power reserve, bi-directional winding, hacking or stop seconds. And it features an array of 38 jewels as constructed because it is a complex modular complication. A watch that uses a unique system employed by no other brand. The 1461 calendar is as distinctive as of Breitling as the annual calendar is of Patek Philippe, but this is a different kind of a Breitling, and with its bi-directional rotating bezel, it gives you even more capability as you can line up that hour index with the hour hand, or treat it as a 60-minute scale, and you've got an independent secondary timing mechanism built right in. Handsome, easy to wear, and rare. You can see and you can purchase this Breitling Windrider Astromat on the watch box. 
And we're back with the Breitling Windrider Astromat. The tritium dial fully intact, the hands subsequently replaced with Luminova service replacements, the timepiece maintaining that original tritium dial, and a measure of legibility. See it on the watch box.